As our nation gears up for a spectacular performance at the upcoming Paris Olympics, courtesy see the brilliant display at the recently concluded Asian Games, it's the perfect time for a quick sports quiz. Which states are well known for making India proud at the Olympics? You might be thinking of states like Punjab, Kerala, Haryana or even some of the regions in the Northeast as the ones making India proud in sports as of late. Well, you are on the right track. But let me tell you, the real hotspots might just surprise you. They are not in the well-known sports powerhouse league but in states like Uttar Pradesh, Gujarat, even Odisha for a moment, they are there. Yes, you heard that right. These states are quietly and steadily rewriting the sports history of our nation in their own unique ways. So join us as we take a closer look at why Uttar Pradesh and Gujarat have emerged as unexpected sports powerhouses. We shall delve into the stories of the remarkable athletes, the grassroots initiatives and the unwavering community support that have propelled these states to the forefront of Indian sports as of now. I know that you might not be very impressed at the thought of Uttar Pradesh and Gujarat emerging as sporting powerhouses and might even wonder if we are going overboard, but sometimes appearances can be deceiving. Over the past few years, there have been significant developments in these states that have quietly propelled them into the arena of sports excellence. Take Gujarat for instance. Since 2016, the state government has been working tirelessly to rejuvenate its sports scenes and the results are there for all to see. For instance, cricket sensation Jaspreet Bumrah didn't emerge from the glittering clubs of Mumbai or the powerhouse states of Punjab or Tamil Nadu. He hails from humble beginnings in Gujarat, a testament to the state's untapped potential. Need we tell you from where some of the strongest cricket teams in domestic cricket hail from? Now, if you don't believe us, check this out. In a country where able-bodied athletes often struggle to advance beyond the second or third round in table tennis at various championships from world championships to Olympics, Gujarat made history when wheelchair-based para-athlete Bhavina Hasmukbai Patel secured a silver medal in women's table tennis at the Tokyo Paralympics 2021. Her hometown? Mehsana district, Gujarat. Moreover, Gujarat understands that proper infrastructure is the backbone of any athlete's success. The famous Narendra Modi Stadium in Ahmedabad is not just another sports arena. It's part of a rapidly evolving Sardar Patel sports enclave that promises to transform the landscape of Indian sports for once and for all. But more on that late. Now turn attention to Uttar Pradesh and the state has a rich sporting legacy that deserves more recognition than it's given. It's the birthplace of none other than Major Dhyan Chand, one of the greatest sporting legends in our history. Or for that matter, Bishambar Singh, the first wrestler to clinch a spot in the finals of any type of world wrestling championships until Sushil Kumar won the top honours in 2010. Uttar Pradesh has produced numerous hockey legends, champion wrestlers and javelin throwers. Under the leadership of Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath, Uttar Pradesh is slowly but surely reclaiming its rightful place as a sporting powerhouse. The construction of mini stadiums and developmental blocks is already underway in the first phase of Uttar Pradesh sports revitalization efforts. Each district is getting its own stadium and various programs are being initiated to foster sports at the grassroots levels. Young welfare and women welfare committees are being established in every village panchayat to promote sports among youths. Additionally, Uttar Pradesh is leaving no stone unturned to provide the best possible facilities and support to its athletes. Sports kits have been distributed to 65,000 young athletes and women welfare committees. The state has also entered into agreements with leading organizations in the country such as JSW Sports, Abhinav Bindra Targeting Performance and Spotter Technologies to ensure the sustainable growth of sports. As Uttar Pradesh and Gujarat ascend the ranks of potential sporting powerhouses, it's only natural to ponder who might gain the upper hand in the race to host the 2036 Summer Olympics. The competition is heating up and both states are making remarkable strides in their sporting ambitions. Like mentioned before, the Narendra Modi Stadium in Ahmedabad stands as a symbol of the commitment to sports. The state-of-the-art sporting complex is not just another stadium, it's a part of a grand vision, namely Sardar Patel Sports Enclave. 
Gujarat is actively developing this facility with an eye on India's bid to host the 2036 Summer Olympics. The ambition is clear and the preparations are underway. Interestingly, International Olympic Committee President Thomas Bach has thrown his weight behind India's aspiration to host the Olympics in 2036. In a recent interview with Shireen Bhan for CNBC TV18, Bach acknowledged the keen interest expressed by both the Indian Olympic Association and the central government in this endeavour. He commended India for its significant progress in Olympic sports and assured that the doors of the IOC are always open should India decide to pursue this goal in the future. Uttar Pradesh is also creating an Olympic city of its own. Ambitious plans are underway for the development of an international level sports hub. The sprawling complex will feature an impressive 29 stadium and 5,000 housing units, all spread across a vast 5,000 hectare expanse. The Uttar Pradesh government has submitted the Master Plan 2041, which outlines its vision for an Olympic city, an aviation hub and a global manufacturing hub for racing motorcycles in Noida and Greater Noida. It's a testament to the state's dedication to sports and its commitment to the nurturing of future athletes. Regardless of which state ultimately wins the honour of hosting the 2036 Summer Olympics, it's clear that Uttar Pradesh and Gujarat are emerging as the knights in shining armour for aspiring sportspersons. These states are rapidly becoming epicentres of sports development, providing world-class facilities and opportunities for athletes to shine on the global stage. As we eagerly anticipate the Paris Olympics, it will be fascinating to see how many of these talented sportspersons nurtured in the promising environs of Uttar Pradesh and Gujarat will bring laurels to our nation. The future of Indian sports has never looked brighter and it's thrilling to be a part of this journey towards excellence and sporting glory.